Hey Camelia, we are out at the Angelo State University soccer fields this morning. Did tennis, did baseball, did football, did basketball. Now over at the soccer fields this morning. It's a nice morning to play soccer. Nobody is out here behind me, but uh, it's fairly nice out here. Still comfortable. We got that southerly wind. It's a little bit breezy. It is warm. It's a little bit muggy as well, but uh, it's going to get hot later on this afternoon. Some clouds that we see above me, those are not going to last very long. We will see plenty of sunshine later on in the late morning and into the rest of the afternoon hours as well. So expect that sun to come out if it is not already out where you live. But uh, because of the heat, let's talk about some heat safety tips and reminders for you. In terms of weather-related deaths, heat is the number one killer. So make sure to limit your time outdoors and also uh, limit your time during peak heating. Wear light-colored, lightweight clothing and also check out elderly and young children as well in, in the heat and also protect your pets as well. Taking a look right now at downtown San Angelo, we see those low-level clouds moving through town. Much of the area is seeing lots of sunshine, but uh, San Angelo, we are locked in with some clouds this morning because of that humidity in the Concho Valley this morning. That is going to lift. These clouds will dissipate. We'll see plenty of sunshine later on. Temperatures in the mid-70s, pretty much area-wide. That's where we're sitting this morning, low to mid-70s with a pretty strong southerly wind. Dew points in the upper 60s to low 70s, so it's muggy, feeling more like Florida, very tropical atmosphere in place across the area. That's why we see some of these clouds moving through. But uh, once we get those clouds out of the area, we will see nothing but sunshine later on for the rest of the day. It's getting hot. Here comes June-like weather. We've been uh, having temperatures in the 80s. It's been very very comfortable across the area. The past several days, we're starting to heat things up, though. More June-like weather. Perfect pool and lake conditions. If you're going to be outside, that's the place to be. Get some water. Uh, stay cool. And definitely during the afternoon hours or do, uh, do your activities in the morning hours, right about now, it's pretty nice outside still. So let's take a look at the tropics though. Tropical Storm Cristobal is in the Yucatan Peninsula overland now, kind of not very organized. It will be better organized later on towards the end of the week and then into the weekend. And then this track turns to the north, moves back into the Gulf of Mexico. This is where it will strengthen a little bit. High end tropical storm, possibly even a low end hurricane as it approaches the Gulf Coast late weekend into early next week. And then this continues to push on up to the north. Right now, all the tracks are taking it east of Texas, which is some good news. May see some rain, especially in the central and eastern Texas, but all the moisture, what is looking like right now, will stay east of our local area. Back here though in west Texas, Lots of sunshine today. We'll have temperatures in the mid to even upper 90s, close to 100, especially off to the west towards Midland and Odessa. Five-day forecast, we're dry. See lots of sunshine for the remainder of the week into the weekend. Temperatures flirting with 100 degrees in both Abilene and San Angelo, and I think we'll climb above that triple-digit mark as we get towards Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week before we cool down just a little bit with another front expected middle part of next week. But uh, enjoy the cooler temperatures. Also enjoy some of these clouds that we're seeing this morning. It's not going to last long. It's going to get hot. Make sure to take it easy if you have any plans later on today. We'll have much more coming up after the break.